Officially, we've owned this restaurant, Square One Cafe, in Old Town Louisville for five years now. Um, started in the culinary industry back, you know, just getting out of college. I was about six months from going to medical school and decided I didn't like blood or <laughs> the hospital aspect of, you know, telling people that they're sick and stuff like that. And at that time, I was working for a buddy's bar and I fell in love with it. And 20 years later, you know, well, 15 years later, we found our own place. 20 years later, we're here today with a successful restaurant down in Old Town Louisville, uh, having the time of our lives doing it and uh, just making people happy. I think uh, the folks that live around here and eat around here, they want to express their loyalty in, in, mm -hmm. in a way. So what I, what I like about your plan of, of uh, coming out with your own signature coffee is that I mean, you can get coffee anywhere, but you can only get your signature coffee right. yet here. Right. And I think people. Um, we'll keep that in mind. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to go have a good talk, good conversation over yeah, a cup of coffee. Definitely. Square one. Yeah, and uh, it's same thing with the the burgers and some of the meals that we'll be coming out with. You know, I mean, you're not going to see many of these meals. You know, we're going to have like an IPA fish and chips. Um, you know, we like to keep it traditional, but at the same time, we you know quirk it up, yeah, make it a little funky. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So and uh, you know we don't want to be the same thing that you see everywhere. And you know a lot of people question. Why Louisville? That was my next question. And we just trusted a lot of the people down here. You know, um, a lot of the wedding vendors that we worked with on caterings, we really trusted them. Um, Chief Kerbo actually was a regular of ours all the time at Parker Square and Flower Mound, and we really trusted him. Uh, you know, some of the business owners and stuff like that. So we decided to give it a shot. So this is so community yeah. oriented. I, mm -hmm. I don't know of another restaurant that is this uh, ingrained in the community. Yeah. Has that always been your vision? That's, yeah, I mean, that's what we, uh, that's how we go, you know what I mean? That's how we do things. We like to take care of our neighbors, Yeah. you know, and we're not always in the best of situations, they take care of us, and that's what it's about, you know? That's an amazing success story. What I like is that uh, you followed your passion. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes uh, it, it's a risk, but you followed your passion and, right. it, and it, uh, it paid off. Yeah, it did, and uh, I mean, there was struggles, you know. Dad's not always happy when you go through college and then you run a bar and restaurant. Doesn't understand, but now he's very happy. Uh, but um, it's it's a struggle, and it always will be. But you know, it's, if you're passionate about it, that's when you know you're doing the right thing, and you know you're not counting the hours, and you you love everything you do. Yeah. And you go home and you still want to be there. So. Yeah. And, and how meaningful could it be if it if it weren't a struggle to, to get there? Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. You got to overcome stuff for it to make it. You know make it more memorable and uh, you know worthwhile and everything else so.